Yeah. Morning. My name is Silas Ivan Giles and I have a bachelor's degree in environmental engineering. And this morning I just want to do a little bit of, you know, trash talk. <laughs> yeah, a bit of trash talk. Yes. Um, it's, it's, it's important for Dominica, the Commonwealth of Dominica, to set up research, environmental research centers. Okay, and ensure that these research, research centers are liaising with other research centers in Martinique and Guadeloupe. Okay, because Dominica, Martinique and Guadeloupe share similar environmental issues considering the space between these islands. Okay, right. To give you a simple example, for instance, when there was this um, issue with the, 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 the pesticide that, that they used in Martinique to to, to kill off some 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 bacteria. I think it was a, some bacteria or some fung, fungus or something that was affecting banana crops in Martinique. Right. Now what happened is they used a lot of it and the residual the, the residue sorry of the of the pesticide eventually got washed off into the sea. You know, from, from rainfall and so on. Right. Now that pesticide now eventually entered the, 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 the food chain, the marine food chain, marine food chains in Martinique. Right? And uh, it bioaccumulated itself right into the, 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 the bodies of the bigger fishes like the tuna and so on around Martinique's um, marine space. Okay, yeah. So that itself is an issue for Dominic as well. Okay, because these kind of fishes, I would like to imagine, correct me if I'm wrong, roam, you know, all over the sea. Okay, right. So Dominicans should pay attention to what is happening. Likewise, Martinique and Guadeloupe are supposed to pay attention to the, 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 all the, the forms of pollution that we create here in Dominica. Okay, right. So, liaising between liaising and working collaboratively between this 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 three islands is important okay all right so yeah if i lose i lose i lose lose my fault lose my fault if i lose my fault if i lose my fault if i lose my fault yes okay yeah so martinique and guadeloupe in Martinique and Guadeloupe, there, there is this university called uh, the Université de l'Antilles, right? In French, it's like the, the University of the, of the, 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 until I can translate it. It's the University of Les Antilles. There, called Parce que je parle un petit peu. Parce que je parle un petit peu français. Et je dois parler plus français. I need to learn to speak much more French. Yeah, but these universities offer my master's degree in um, tropical um, ecosystems ecology and a PhD degree in climatology. Yeah, a master's degree in tropical ecosystems ecology and a PhD in, 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 in climatology. So they do do this kind of a research over there in Martinique and Guadeloupe or even Dominica. Okay, right. So the French government may eventually, when they do whatever projects to, to remediate the, the, the environmental issues in these islands, right? They, they may want to liaise with Dominica, okay? Because maybe they may do research and find out that, you know, the, 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 um, the gases um, emitted from the exhaust pipes of the vehicles in Martinique may be, you know, affecting contaminating polluting our, our atmospheric space they may find that you know and uh, after they find that now they may want to create a project let's say for instance giving um um catalytic catalytic um, converters you know to people to put it in the exhaust pipes and so on right they may want to do that in dominica okay 
you may want to do that in Dominica because international law is that we we form this huge corrupt cooperative right to combat um, climate change and um, environmental environmental impacts and so on okay because that's the way it is right now in the world right so Dominica has to participate in that as well right so you have to open up your mind as Dominicans to to, to, to working with 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 with, with, with French French the, 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 the French yes and from my experiences French people are very 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 nice people a lot of them okay people are people you meet good people and bad people okay yes so you have to open up your your mind you have to open up your mind to liaising with 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 um with French people yeah right now the best country in the world that Dominica could have worked with for the geothermal project, that's the first country that approached Dominica, from what I read, correct me if I'm wrong, for the geothermal project, right? The French, okay, right. But Dominica people, you need to change your attitude, right? You understand? Okay, right. You don't want to think that these rich affluent countries, they owe you, it's not like that. Okay, they're giving money back in, in the form of projects. Okay, it's just like, for instance, you see China. China as a country is one of China and the United States of America, two countries that contaminate, pollute, sorry, the environment, the atmosphere more than any other countries in the world. But you will see China coming, doing simple projects, you know, like putting up street lights, you know, helping us to fix our roads. Yeah, because sometimes our roads get damaged, you know, by erosion that is caused by, you know, you know, changes in rainfall and so on. You see them coming and they're helping to do it. China, you doesn't owe us. They will come.